My name is Sophie Wong. I'm the owner of Chicken Olive. Uh, my center is basically a, com a combination of linguistic and uh, special needs. This center is a bit of me and is a bit of my son. The part of me is the linguistic part of me. Okay, so a lot of people will say, "Wow, you are mixing linguist, linguist, and you know, and special needs." But how can you do that? Well, I guess that you know, I don't know. It's just that the part of me and the part of my son. That's why it's Chiki and Olive. Chiki is the smaller part, and Olive is the adult part. And it came together because of maybe my opening towards the culture and my diversity. I came to understand that um, that you have to have an open mind, and you have to uh, learn to explore. So yes, this learning center is about linguistic and also special needs because I know that uh, special needs children does not have time to play. They are always working. <laughs> They're always on paper because they need to catch up with the syllabus. And you see, th this is really a, 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 you know all the things in here are for children to play. You don't restrain them. You don't t tell them no. You cannot play this. You cannot play that. You know this is where they are. They like to play Lego. They play Lego. They like to go to, the, you know, they have their own little world. And sometimes you know it's like breathing space. That's why you, this is how I come across that they needed that too. And on the other side, play to learn is that sometimes learning can be fun. The same concept. If you use a little bit of creativity, you can actually unblock, and you can let the child see and use yet your your way, and they will try to diversify. So, like simple thing, um, you know, model, model, model is the hardest part to visualize. But if you don't give them a concrete, concrete way of showing the model, then how do you uh, my son them is to solve the problem? Okay, that's how I started my education. So uh, it started off with, um, with uh, knowing my son has uh, learning challenges. And at, at that point of time, being a mother, I didn't know what was those, those learning challenges. So we went to seek um, a psychologist. It, it, she became my good friend by the end, you know. Uh, she taught me a lot. Uh, and she literally told me that, uh, you know, uh, your son is different from others. So I said, okay, so how different? What is the differences, you know? So we want to break it down as an adult being very logic. And she said to me that uh, he had ASD. So ASD, what it is, you know? It's everything was like a, a bundle of questions in, into my head. And when I came, I remember when I came back home and I told, to my parents, and they said that, what is ASD, what is it? So I quickly, at that point of time, 16 years ago, there was a little bit of Google, you know, so I went to seek, it was more Yahoo than Google, so I went to seek, and I saw that ASD comprehended, you know, uh, uh, autism spectrum disorder. So what is autism? So he's on a spectrum. Does, he, does it mean that he can go to a normal school? Does it mean, you know, all these things came into my mind about his future. So this was one point. So how to help him? He, had, uh, he faced a lot of difficulties in his learning, um, learning through, through his learning. I don't know how to say it, but it's like his life is perpetual. A learning experience. Not every child has a problem, okay? But you know your child well enough that he's different from others. Okay, we have what we call uh, developmental stages. So if your child does not, does not meet that particular stage and you find that it differs from that group age, then I think you should be informed. You should be informed. Um, when I first started, I thought myself when he was about 18, I found him very different from others. He would pull me, he would throw tantrums, he would just be, you know, the sensory part of him. Uh, 
he, he just couldn't bear to go to a supermarket which was very rowdy and noisy. So at first, I was thinking, OK, this is his age. You know, the question part is that not denying, but let him grow. Okay. This is one stage also. Uh, you are confused. Is he like that? Is it true? You know, you, you, are, you are playing with a ping pong, saying that, you know, I wish that he's not, but he is like that. So now, for my case, I did, because I was surrounded with children since very young age, and I knew that he was different, so I had to seek. I had to seek. I, I needed to be informed that he was okay. So that's why the first thing I did was to go and see a psychologist. And that's my, my answer. My answer was, was given to me. So I want to inform parents that, yes, not every child has problem, but if you find that there is a gap, um, there is a difference, please do that uh, as early as possible. Do not wait until, you know, he's in P1 and or in K2 and then finding that, wow, I could have done things earlier on or I could have done, you know, I could have intervened earlier on. Would that make a lot of difference? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In terms of behavior. Behavior, uh, in terms of instructions. Um, ASD children usually they do, and are not very good at memory processing, some of them, okay? I'm not saying all of them, okay? I have a lot of um, memories about my child when, I, when, when he was young. So, uh, as I said, um, I, I have come across that a lot of parents ask me, so, but Sophie, do you think that my child will be able to go through, you know, that that stages that's a million dollar question you know i'm i i know that if you don't try you won't be able to get the achievement i think singapore has got a very good system but yet i feel that uh, i don't know if i want to say that i just wish that it will become a law whereby a law like US, that they will take, um, they will take in charge of the child in terms of OT, speech, assessment, school, and they work around the child. We, children with learning challenges are still a minority. Does it cost a lot? Yes, it does. It is very costly. And not all the parents can afford. So my wish is to be able to see that one day Singapore can have this, what we call, um, they take charge of the child.